What's up, y'all? King Carlos here, back with another video. Y'all know how a nigga do, man. In the spot, just chilling. Want to speak on some real nigga shit, bro? Something that needs to be talked about. And um, it's it's something it's real, man. And a lot of people can't see it now. You know what I'm saying? Because of the the climate, the current climate. What I mean, climate. I mean society. What people are doing. What people are eating. What people are wearing. What people the music people are listening to. What people are saying. The TV shows people are watching. Right. But it's um, it's real facts, bro. I'm gonna speak on. Um, this is why. This is my pretty much my part three of why Mexicans hate blacks, and why Mexicans will come together with whites in war against blacks before they come together against blacks against whites in war. In war. Um, number one, I want to say. Black people, as black people, we're the most spiritual people on this planet. We're the most people. And when I say spirituality, spirituality comes from a place of, of, of not materialistic, materialistic, um, insurance. You know, like a lot of people think because, and what I mean by that is, like, like look at somebody like TJ, because not all black people. But most of us black people, well, all black people are. I'm just saying, some people, black people, are evil and wicked and demonic. Like the dude I'm finna name, T.D. Jakes. He's he's an evil, all these pastors are wicked. They know the truth about how we're Hebrews, and they can preach about race and all that stuff and help black people. But they rather keep us in the same hole, going back and forth, getting murdered and killed, and coming back, giving money to the church so we can get saved. But <laughs> somebody like T.D. Jakes, right? T.D. Jakes has a big ass church, and he has millions of dollars, right? And he talks about the Lord. Obviously, he blasphemes and shit like that. He's he's been taught how to how to trick the masses and things like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm standing there on the highway. Let me walk up here. But he's been taught. There's a helicopter going over me. He's been taught how to trick the masses and things like that, right? And how to um, fuck up the scriptures. And he goes over the scriptures that actually mean something real. Not the scriptures that talk about how we should go to war. And not all the time. You shouldn't just go out and hate people. If you're a Hebrew and black and watching this, go out and hate people because they're not Hebrew and black. But you should understand the same, you, you should show love and compassion towards other black people. And there's other races of people that you should show the the, the, the the prejudice to. And I don't mean prejudice like calling them out by their name. I mean, when it's time for problems, show them real problems. But when you get into it, a black person, if you're watching this and you're black, you should show love. He doesn't preach anything about that. He don't preach brotherly love, just like Martin Luther King did. He was a monster. Okay, he the, he's the reason we get beat and killed now and run to, run to these pastors and pay them all this money in March while they're getting ready to load up guns to come kill us again and shoot up our baby, our baby schools and shoot up where our women go get our hair, their hair and nails done. But they don't teach brotherly love, right? They don't, he doesn't preach shit like that. But back to like the main point, because he has a lot of money and he has so much materialistic insurance, he's so rich, in his mind, and in a lot of people's mind, he must be spiritual because how does he have so much stuff? Oh, it's because he talks about, the, oh, he's because he's spiritual, so the Lord is blessing him. A lot of people, you, you, you notice, people don't call people blessed who who have a job, who have a, a job, a food roof over their head, and put food in their mouth, put food in their bills, and food in their kids' bellies, and uh, you know what I'm saying? And have a, have a nice wife, and it's a nice quiet life, they can get a peace of mind, they go have a little fun, they can splurge a little bit, you know, they just, they do what they gotta do. They can get some look, he can go out and uh, buy a nice meal, he can cook a nice meal and things like that. And he might have, he might know, a lot. He, he, he don't have to, he's not rich, but he has like a lot of different trades. He's worked in a lot of different fields. He might know construction, dude might know chef work, dude might know um, some, some, some like music, know how to do music and shit like that. We don't call people like that blessed. You notice that people only call people blessed that have a lot of materialistic things because people connect. The average person connects spirituality with uh, materialistic insurance. That's what I mean, guys. But a lot of us black people, us real black people know that spirituality comes from when you have nothing and the hope and belief because you can give up and turn to the most, do the most wicked things. This is why, pe this is why it's a paradox in the world that the man who has nothing will give you a shirt off his back and while the man has a billion dollars in his, in his bank account and has 
incredible stock and constituents all over the world won't give you a penny. And he won't even tell you how to get a penny. He'll just tell you to get the fuck on somewhere you're above. This is why that is. Because when you're at the lowest, you truly are spiritual because you have nothing but your but yourself. When you have nothing but yourself, most people turn to Yah. They really turn to Yah. Even if they call him God and Jesus, those people who really are at the bottom, who really are in the Salvation Army, who so are really at the, even if they don't call, call him by his correct name, they really truly are trying to connect to him. Those people have spirituality. And so those people are blessed because they go from going to the Salvation Army, going to the, you know what I'm saying, going to the church to get groceries, to actually being able to go to Kmart, then go to Walmart and things like this and actually buy real groceries for their family. And that's just groceries, so I'm not trying to say but you understand what I mean. And they're able to put nice, get some decent clothes and they can take their family on a nice vacation, take their family to SeaWorld and things like that. That's real, true spirituality. Black people really have, a lot of us Negroes truly have that. Um, a lot of Hispanic, some, some Hispanic, a few Hispanic people who are very poor believe in the, the most high because they have nothing and all they have is their spirituality, but very few, a lot of them don't. They figure, oh, he's not real and until they get a whole lot of money and they figure, oh, look, the, you know what I'm saying? They do the same thing that a lot of most people do, especially white people, white people connect. Um, you know what I'm saying? They must, if there was ever, they don't believe in shit anyway. White people are empty, you know, this spiritually empty, have nothing inside them which is why it's easy for Satan to inhabit them and possess them and put thoughts in their head of death and and um, genocide and rape and, and to create these systems that are unfair and to create animosity in people and to create oppression and things like this. This is why they. This is why these thoughts can go in their head so easily because they have nothing, they're not no spiritual at all. There's nothing inside of them at all. But a lot of black people are spiritual, right? Well, no, forgive me, I, 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 got back, I got back off my point. What I was saying about Hispanic people, a few Hispanic people believe that, but most people don't. Most people connect. Most people connect having money and getting things like that to to spirituality, to being blessed and things like that. And that's not what that's not what it is. The Lord didn't put you here to have a lot of things because people who have a lot of things, as you've all seen, do not want to leave this place. And that's not what you were intended here for. You were intended to come here to learn a lesson, which is what life is truly about, to live, have children, make mistakes, learn from those mistakes, to love, to hate, to go to war, to have peace, to judge, to be unjudgmental. He was, you were put here to go into test from the Most High. You were put here to be blessed from the Most High. And then you go back to the kingdom of heaven if you do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? And if you fuck up, you choose deceit, you choose to live wickedly. You want the best things out of life. You don't want to go. You, you want to extend your life, you go to, you go to the brimstone with the rest. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't believe that anyway. Most people believe, well, since people who have a lot of money live long lives and have to be 90 and 100 years old, and then they, they live these lives of fucking all these women and driving these fast cars and traveling, that Lord must love them. It's, that's not true. The Lord actually doesn't care about stuff like that. Fucking a drone watching me. That shit's weird, man. But yeah, he doesn't care. The Lord doesn't care about stuff like that. He just cares about. Um, he cares about your faith. That's why he puts you at the bottom. The, the, love, the love he has. He has for people. He has love for people at the bottom, not people at the top. But the hatred from his, the hatred from Hispanic people. Whoa, whoa! Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. That's not the main point. The reason is when the speaking of the war and stuff like that. I'm sorry guys, I kind of got off topic a little bit. But thanks to everybody who's still watching. For the people who are gonna call me stupid or whatever like that, that's fine too, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can express yourself the way you want to. If you want to prove what I was saying that you're just a negative, evil person, then that people who aren't black don't really have much good in them and don't really know what what being happy is and don't know what love is. They just know tolerance. Then go ahead and show me in the comments. But like, um, the reason that Hispanic people aren't gonna join white people is white people what well, I pretty much the main point of what I just said. Since white people have so much materialistic things, they have buildings, they have a democracy, they have a government, they have the police, they have guns, they have they have money, they have stocks, they have ideas, they have they make investments, they travel. They figure that what they Hispanic people call Jesus must be on white people's side. So white people more white people are going to join. This is why most Hispanic people and also because um, Hispanic people um, 
see dark can see see in um see fear when they see dark skinned people also just like a lot of the dark skinned companions so you can imagine what they see when they see white people there's also hatred in that and also um a lot of their women love us but a lot of women women don't a lot of white, hispanic women love white men as well i mean i mean i think more than black men actually but yeah that's the reason hispanic people that's one of the reasons Hispanic hate blacks, and that's the reason Spanish are going to join white people in the war crimes. There ain't anybody who watched the video.